Hi guys, be Rad Tech. This is the third tutorial of the Java game development series of tutorials. And last tutorial, we looked at adding an object we've done here, waiting 10 milliseconds and removing it. We didn't actually learn about the delay, we were just using that to learn how to remove objects. But this tutorial, we will be looking at moving objects. So to do that, we do not do anything with our world class, we do not need it. And actually, let's get rid of this uh, act method because we do not want to remove the man anymore. We want to keep him there. Compile that, and let's go into our player object, into our act, one of our actors. And the most simplest way of moving is say move, and the speed. Let's put ten. Now I'll show you why this isn't very good, and I don't really like this way of moving. It's too easy and it's really not good because watch this. It's compiled. Uh -huh. this, this one needs to be compiled. And I click run. Yeah, he, he only goes right. And if I if I go back into the player and I change this to a different number, unless you thought it was didn't know it was the speed of what the player goes at, and yeah, he's just going the same direction. So how do we make a move in a certain direction? Well, instead of using the green foot to move, let's create our own method. We can override this method, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to click public void, which means it's not going to return a value if you didn't know that. And let's just call it move. So let's make a move in a certain direction. So let's say set location get x which is the x coordinate um, we're not going to make him go right or left and get y now if we say minus 1 it means he'll be going up because obviously negative y is going up and plus 1 means he'll be going down but 1 just means he'll be going down 1 pixel at a time 5 will mean 5 pixels that's basically the speed so I'm going to keep it at 5 we could also make him go diagonal if we put this plus 5 as well, because obviously he'd be going across and down at the same time. But let's just make him go down at the moment. And let's close that bracket there. Let's go into our act method. And let's call the move. Now we don't need to put any parameters in here because this isn't asking for any. So let's click compile. And there we have it, he's moving down. Let's go in now and make him go uh, down and right. So then we do plus 5 again. We don't have to do plus 5, you can do different speeds for each one, they don't need to be the same. And that he's going that way now. Oh god. Um, now if I put this plus 7, it should hopefully make the effect of him. Oh no, it didn't. It just makes him go across a bit faster. Anyway, that is how to move a player. So minus seven will make him go left. As you can see. So that is basically how to move an object. Next tutorial, we will be looking at getting the user input and making them move from the user input. So up, down, left, and right arrows, etc. So stick around. And learn some Java. Thank you much for your attention.